Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Grandsifer's Gaming. Uh, this is your host, Big Lord Grandsifer. Um, I'd like to wish you all another happy holidays. This is December 24th for me. I just got back from spending Christmas Eve with my baby sister and some of my siblings and their family. I do have to tell you, it's always an adventure when I spend time with my siblings. Um, could go from loving family to handcuffs. You never know. It's always an adventure. We're back with Ein Ferrari here, our little dwarf hunter here on Lava Lash Roleplay Server and World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery. When we went ahead and left off at the end of the first episode, we were at the camp here in level three, and we were playing around, goofing around, having some fun. So let's pick up where we left off. Uh, let's go ahead and get a nice little wave here from Ein Ferrari himself. Say, hey, everybody. Okay. One thing I want to do is I want to turn on the add-on voiceover. Because I know as much as you guys love hearing me read the quests, I think it's kind of cool to hear the AI. Let's see what it has to do. So let's go ahead and restart here and set it all up. And like I tell you, you guys see all this. You know, some people do this off screen. I like to do it on. I like you to see everything that's going on with the game. Um, I may do some stuff off screen, you know, maybe level some professions, do some fishing, work on band-aids, you know, stuff like that. You know, stuff that might drive you guys bonkers. But besides that, I like to try to do everything on screen. So, quest we're on is we got uh, Boar Hunter. We have two of 12. Still got to get 10 more of those. We got Felix's box, Felix's chest, and Felix's bucket of bolts that got left behind when they ran out of Nomergon and the trolls took them. And then we have the Frost Roll Cave, Frostmane Troll Cave, where we got to kill 14 Frostmane Troll Ups. We still have 13 of those to go, so let's jump right on in. Got to go ahead and get a boar right here, which later on we're probably going to have one of these as a pet so it's kind of cool that we're killing them now and they're going to be our friend not too long down the road so. but like I did pick the name Ein Fari for this guy because I do think I'm going to try to work towards and maybe use the lone wolf rune which allows me to do more DPS when I don't have a pet active I'm not sure though we'll find out Oh, let's go. It's over here. We got uh, some boars over here. We got some whelps over here, but we also have Felix's box. Let's look at his box. Okay, here we go. Pick off a couple of these troll whelps while we're here. Again, I did wonder why I didn't have enough coin to train when we were back in Anvilmar last, and I realized I'm only level three. I gotta be level four before I can train some more. That might be why there was nothing for us to learn. Because <clears throat> I was an idiot. Well, it's not the first time, not the last time. You guys got used to me being an idiot. Um, let's go ahead and get this troll up here. Um, I did a pretty fun time at my baby sister's tonight. It's always good to see her. Um... Got to see her, got to see one, two, three of my younger sisters, and one of my nieces and her fiance, as well as, this makes me feel really old, my two-year-old great-niece. I am only 43, so saying I'm a great-uncle does make me feel a little weird. But it is what it is. And my baby great niece, she was a very loving young girl. She was quite happy to see her uncle, her great uncle. Um, opened her presents, wanted to share them with me. Wanted me to play with them, which was kind of funny. She didn't want her mom or dad to. She brought them to me and wanted me to play with them. So I had some fun playing with her toys and watching her play. It was really funny. So we went ahead, we got four of these whelps now. We went ahead and picked up his box. Oh, shoot, didn't see him. Uh, if he was snake, he would have bit me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, too close to range attack him, so we gotta rely on our raptor strike right here, raptor strike melee attack. 
Hunters are not melee. I mean, in, in the season of Discovery, there are some runes that will allow you to play as a melee hunter, which is interesting. I haven't done it. Uh, I don't think I will. But some people seem to rather enjoy it. So, oh, oh. Oh, what's here? It says we got a chest. Oh, yeah, I got my treasure finder up. It says there is a chest over here. Let's go ramsack the chest. See what we get. Hmm. Let's see, we got no, frayed gloves, flimsy chain boots, and some freshing water. Um, check, because sadly, that may have been an upgrade. <laughs> it was not, luckily. So, let's keep going on here. We're going to head over this way. We got another piece of Felix's gear that are gonna, that's going to be over here. But, oh, shoot. I'm getting really poor at running right up to these frost main troll whelps. Got to open my eyes so I can see them a little better. Oh, here we go. Hope all you are doing well tonight. I hope you're looking forward to a great holiday beginning of the week as well as the entire week. And a happy and pleasant New Year's Eve coming up one week from today. Hope everybody's safe, uh, makes good decisions. And if you don't make good decisions, my, my rule is always one thing. You know, don't add to the population, don't reduce from the population. Don't do anything to get yourself thrown in jail. But if you do, make it front page worthy. I want to read about it in the morning. <laughs> so. Come on, Cletus. Okay, here we go. Get him up here. I got to do some more melee attacks. Cannot wait till level 10 when we get our pet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clear my throat there. We can send the pet in to do our dirty work for us. And we can kick back and just it off from range. And that's pet. Yay, pet ragged young wolf. We don't need to kill it right now, so pet its fur make it feel a little happy. My daughter's one of those weird kids. We love D and D, and I mean, she's the type that if we were picked up a quest from the city to go out and kill rangy wolves, that's you know attacking the city, she'd be more likely to tame them all and make them our friends, so they would go fight for us rather than kill them. So. I try to be nice to wildlife in games. Okay, here we go. Beat him with your stick. Beat him with your stick. Okay, we need six more of those. Coming up here, there's going to be the chest. Oh, shoot. I did not see it. I told you. I'm blind tonight. Holy crap. I did not see him either. Those of you watching are yelling, What are you doing? Troll over there, you idiot. Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. One of my heroes, Bobby Fisher. Quit being an idiot. Well, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot by trade. Damn, he spawned right there. Fuck, that wasn't good. Okay, let's take care of the one. Depending on how hard they hit us, I may pop stone for for the extra armor. Let's see how this goes. Oh, wow, another one spawned right there. I need to back up a little more. Yeah, I'm going to pop stone for him. Just for the chits and giggles of it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, level four, we can learn more. So, what are they? Now, pay attention. Let's shoot him in the face. Give him a better outlook on life. <laughs> here we go. If I get it back far enough to where I can shoot him again. Come on. Oh, thought maybe we could back up far enough where we could get another shot off, but it didn't work. Had wing clip, we probably could have, but I don't have wing clip yet. Okay, that's 11. To four. Oh, another one spawned right there. Let's shoot him in the face. Okay, here we go. Take it. Take that axe, big whelp. There we go. That's two more of those, but I'm going to sneak in and grab this Felix's chest before 
I need more spawn. No, I'll go that way. I'll go this way. So we need boars too. God, we still need nine boars. Fall a little behind. Gotta make sure we do better. What is the I'm gonna check? What's our on arm skill? Nine to twenty. Oh no. Get our unarmed up a little bit. Let's see if we can get two, at least maybe at least two, maybe three. Nope, we're gonna get two. Let's see if we can get our unarmed up a little better. Shoot him. Got our unarmed up to 14. It's two, three. Oh, we got three off on him. That's good. Oh, well, helps if I actually start, you know, meleeing him because. Uh, idiot! I'm an idiot! Okay, there we go. 14 to 14. Got all those. Got one arm. Let's see, unarmed up to 15. Went through our axe back out. Shoot a bacon over there. Come here, bacon. Oh, wait, no. Small crag bar. Still looks like bacon. Okay, let's get another bacon. By the way, I have a bad habit of naming my pet boars bacon. Or taco. I don't know why. Just bad habit of doing it. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, any more boars around here I can pop off? Uh, not that I'm seeing, but there is... Another piece of Felix is set. Oh, wow. That was a big leaf in our way. I would like to get the Craig board quest complete. The Welp quest, which we do have complete. Felix is three items complete. And I'd like to get into Frost Main Troll Cave. And knock that one out, too, if we have the time to do it. Oh, I think he's going to... No, maybe he won't see us. Maybe not. Let's go get us... Oh, well, almost ran into another one because I'm blind. Holy cow. I even got new glasses. Should have been able to see that. Let's see, I need some more boars. Not seeing any over here. Of course, on our map, it says they're over here, not over here. And I'm looking over there because, again... I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, I see a boy right here. Mark a skull on him so I can see where he's at. Again, quick mark. I love this add-on. Especially when you're in an area where you are got to kill 15, 20 or something, and there's other people around. It's not like you're stealing kills from them, but it's... They're spread out here and there. Uh, Dark Shore is a good place uh, over by Aberdeen. When you got to do the rabbit thistle bears, uh, throw the uh, target macro in, throw a rabbit thistle bear in, hit it, and then go ahead and mark them with the skull. And they spin around to see where the skull is at, see where it's at, so you can head in that general direction. <clears throat> right now, we're still killing small crag bowers. Sound like I said bear. Small Craig boars. I need four more of them. Head over this way. Seems map sense. Map tends to say there are more in this general direction. So maps don't usually lie, but if it did, it did. Oh, there's more. We're almost at max range. We should get at least three shots off. I'd like four, but I don't think we're going to get four with the speed of a rifle. 
What is it? It's the old blunder gus. Blunder bus. So we need three more boars. There's another one right there. So I need closer so we don't pull a troll. I don't think so. So go ahead and throw a skull on that. So I'm going to go around this way. And when I round these trees to the left, I want to be able to see exactly where he is right away. He's right there. One, two, three. That's all I thought we we're going to get off on it anyway, so. Uh, hope you're all having a great evening. I, like I said earlier, I had a fantastic evening tonight. Uh, I do really enjoy getting to see my younger siblings. Um... Not always great to see him at the time I see him, but when I'm when I'm done, it's always nice to know that I got to see him and spend some time. I love my nieces and nephews. I do not get to see them as often as I like. And my daughter Abby, she really likes spending time with her cousins. And one of my nephews in particular, Tegan, he's a freshman in high school. He, he's a great kid. And I don't know. Him and my daughter have a great friendship. And my niece Aaliyah. They're kind of like the Three Musketeers. They don't get to see each other a lot and spend a lot of time together, but when they are together, they're a good group of kids. I would like to give a shout out tonight to my wife. She has been fantastic this holiday season. She's done almost all the shopping for both the meal and gifts. Uh, giving the gifts out to my nieces and nephews and siblings tonight. They all rather love them. And honestly, I didn't know what most of them were. So I was just as happy and surprised as they were when they opened them. <laughs> She's really good at that. And she works very hard. I'm a lucky guy. So we're going to go over here. We're going to turn the boar quest in to Talon and we're going to turn around we're going to come over here and turn the whelp quest in pick up the quest here that's going to want us to go back to Anvilmar with the hot brew give the hot brew over turn that quest in get the quest to bring it back while we're there we'll head up Felix turn in Felix's quest here we go let me bring this up yeah we want those pants they're a big upgrade for us oh really oh yeah I forgot darn it Hey, we got a bag. Let's throw the bag on. Rearrange them. See if there's anything I want to wear. There's not. Excellent. I can go back to my easily hunting hunting now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we did that. Let's bring our bag up. Let's throw those pants on. Look all smexy there. My kind of Federer look, you know, a little more dwarfish with his leather pants. What are they called? Dwarven leather pants. That's originative. <laughs> uh, okay let's keep on heading over this way like i said we're going to turn in the whelp quest uh and then he's going to give his quest to go in and get a get a journal for him and then we're going to pick up this quest he's going to want us to go run scalding brew over to anvilmar we're going to pick that up we got a five minute timer it is a timed quest going to run that up to anvilmar we're going to turn it in guy's going to tell us hey here's quest take the cut back so we will Upgraded axe. Let's see. We're going from one to three damage to two to five damage. So it's 1.7 damage per second with a speed of two. So same speed, a little bit more damage. Okay. I said we're going to pick up this. I was supposed to get this delicious scalding morn brew to turn and turn cutter inside Anvilmar a while ago now. I had to deliver one to Gwen in here first. I'll never make it to Anvilmar before the brew runs cold. You look fast. Maybe you can get this cup will only stay hot for five more minutes. Excuse me. So get going. Anvilmar is to the northeast. A settlement dug into the mountain. Thanks, adventure. And don't forget to bring me back my mug. Don't forget to bring me back my mug. Well, okay, if I have to. Can I use it to beat a trog over the head with? That'd be kind of interesting. Look, trog. Stein. 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 Here's your mug. It's dented. Uh, I ran into a trog. 
it served me well. Here's your stein. Well, our fortitude buff that we were given last episode finally ran out. Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Azeroth. Because, 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 because he wants a scolding mug. Yeah, I don't sing very well. Sorry. I try, though. That's the point. Give it to the old college gung-ho. So, let's see if I can get this turned in. Get these, train up a little bit, sell my junk, get back and do the Greenland White Birds journal quest where we kill the whelp in the cave, the named whelp. Like I said, first we want to run over here. Before we do Felix, we want to go ahead and give him a scalding brew so it's still scalding hot when he gets it. Yo! I want to sell first, see if I can get enough to buy both of those. Let's see. That, 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 that. Come over here, turn this in, get a little bit of coin from him. I believe it's 50 copper. He might actually say huzzah. <laughs> okay, let's come back over to Thorgas Grimson. See if we aspect of the monkey. I'll take that. Serpent Sting, I'll take that too. So, come back here. We're going to grab aspect of the monkey. What aspect monkey that does is, like it says, the hunter takes on the aspects of a monkey. Increasing chance to dodge by 8%. Only one aspect can be active at a time. So until we hit level 10 and or when we decide to tame beasts, I will use this. Once we hit level 10, we will get aspect of the hawk, which has, increases our attack power as well as gives us a chance to attack faster. So up here, turn on aspect of the monkey. Down the marksman, serpent sting. Now I'm going to replace our auto shot here with serpent sting. What I'll do is I'll still have auto shot on it just in case we would rather use auto shot rather than serpent sting. How many? Uh, something I forgot to do. I want to grab our ammo and put it on there just so I can see how much ammo we have. Weapon Smith, neither one of these guys is going to have what I want. So let's come outside. I am out here. I'm going to run down over to this vendor over here and to the general guy and see if I can grab at least a stack or two more of normal ammo until I can learn engineering, which then I'll craft my own shot. Until I get to level 25, technically at level 25, the ammo you can buy does more at a DPS per second than the ammo you can create because the ammo that would replace what you're creating at that time, you can't make until level 30. So the level 25 ammo you can purchase is better. Let's see, it's this guy right here. Yep. Yeah, I'll just do that. That gives us 491. That should be more than enough. Uh, yep, none that can. Oh, let's fix my bags, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now what we're going to do is, if I bring up the map here, like I said, we're going to run all the way back over here. We're going to turn the mug in. Then we're going to run over to the cave here. We're going to come in the cave. We're going to jump all the way over until we can hit the named whelp and pick up the gentleman's journal. It's about 24 and a half minutes in. We should have plenty of time to complete these two quests. Okay, here we go. 
Dude still got his, yep, I got his, his tankard, you know, his precious tankard. I make sure, oh, I didn't get a hit of trog with it. Now I'm kind of disappointed. Continue. Oh, that would be level five. <laughs> Simple as bring back the mug. <laughs> Okay, so now we're heading over to... Oh, there's another treasure chest over here. I can see it on our map. It's right there. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. 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 My chest. My chest. Well, I'll cheer at him. Damn little kinky gnome. <laughs> hey, he saw it without having the treasure finder, so I guess he's, you know, more talented than I. Oh, why am I trying to charge? I'm not on a warrior. I'm sitting here going, five, charge, five, charge, five. Why isn't he charging? Oh, yeah. Hunter, no charge available. Can't guess what class I play the most. <laughs> My muscle memory instinctively just trying to charge. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, so we need none. Actually, we're, for some reason, I was thinking of, Dun I was like, oh, I need to kill X amount of this. No, I don't. I just need to traverse the cave. I don't even need to really do that. I just need to get the journal, but. Okay, as you see, the serpent stings on him, causes four nature damage every three seconds. At the back of this cave, though, there's a quest because I get to pick up a rune, which allows me to do chimera, chimera shot. Chimera shot, like I read. Oh, I didn't read it, actually. So, oh, I did. When I picked up the quest, I did. Uh, if I'm using Serpent Sting, what it does is it does 40% of the Serpent Sting damage instantly. Come on, Cletus. You got that new axe. Put it to use. Many of you as old as me, maybe a little older. Cletus, that, that'll ring a bell. You'll hear me say, come on, Cletus, a lot. You'll also hear me say, right turn Clyde, left turn Clyde. Uh... One of my favorite movies growing up, uh, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents, was Clint Eastwood's Any Which Way But Loose and Any Which Way You Can. Clint Eastwood and his pet orangutan named Clyde. Cletus was one of the police officers on the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, didn't know any better when I was a little kid. I thought it was a funny, cool show. They, they drove a really cool orange car, a lot of jumpy things, and Boss Hog was funny. Uh, now that I'm older and I watch it back and like a lot of shows that you, you thought were funny when you were young you watch it back now and it's like, oh my God, wow, they could not make that show today. Um, maybe they could, it's not my cup of tea anymore, but back then I thought it was fast cars, lots of jumping, screaming, yelling, pretty girl sliding across the hood of a car. Boss hog was funny. Uncle Jesse was cool though. So I liked it. That's the guy I need to kill. He's dead. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pick off one of his lackeys. So I can get up here and get that chest. Oh. Okay, he's done. Oh, he's back already. So let's get max range. Oh, well, that's not max range, but it's still pretty far. Let's see. One, two three i'll be able to get four off maybe because he yep i got four off because he casted frost shock on me this is not cool but hey at least it allowed me to get an extra pop shot off on him here we go go ahead and take this guy out so i can get over like i said so i can go over here and get this chest which has got our rune in it wow he responded fast damn Okay, well, I guess we'll kill him again. Hey, there's a chest over here, too. <gasps> Dude, no, that's not who I meant to attack. Yep, tab targeting at its finest. <laughs> that was not who I meant to attack. Damn it. <laughs> well, it happens. Uh, let's see. No, not tab targeting. Wow, jeez, I just need to run over there and do this because otherwise these guys are just going to keep spawning before I can. Okay. Let's just get over here and do it. Come all the way over here. I'm in this corner. Gonna go ahead and pop iron skin or stone form. Because I know I'm gonna be a little low on health after I kill this guy. And that's just in case they spawn before I kill him. Another raptor strike. Holy cow! Yep, that's just. Yep. 
I'm probably gonna die. Just so you know. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die. I wanna die, <laughs> but I'm going to. Yes. Well, let's run back to the cave. Come on, Cletus. Get on that horse. Well, we're at 30 minutes. I wanted to have these done by then, but we'll go over a minute or two. I'm not gonna complain as long as it doesn't get into the 40 minute, 45 plus range. But like I said, I'm gonna try to keep these to around 30 minutes long. You know, I normally won't go under 30, but if I go a couple minutes over, that's fine. I just wanna keep these to a nice little 30 minute bracket videos for you guys. So if you're busy and you just have a short amount of time, you just wanna jump on a watch and get a little laughs and giggles and make fun of me, which is perfectly okay. What the hell? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. <sighs> See this? See this right here? It says your corpse is this way, so don't run that way. Dumbass. That's Dumas. Whatever. Little joke between me and my daughter. Whenever I do something stupid and she doesn't want people to know she's calling me a dumbass, she calls me Dumas. <laughs> people are like, what's well, Dumas? And we're like, oh, it's a term of endearment. Okay. So, let's go this way. Okie dokie, that's so how we're gonna get over here. Come in the cave. Mm, this way. Let's see if I can get up there and revive up on that ledge without having oh what's his name oh yeah maybe I can now because somebody else is down here fighting oh he's dead damn poor gnome can't see can I do it without pulling I want to let me accept it that's kind of interesting let's reload <clears throat> see what was going on there What the fuck? As long as it's just him, I might be okay. Just stone form off. Aspect of the monkey up there, so I got some. I don't know. I'm gonna die again. Or sometimes I'll go 30, 40 levels without dying and I get to die twice already. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's look at the little red letter here. You know, it says go this way this time. Let's do that. The respawn rate's what's killed me right now. Uh, respawn, more people there are in the zone area, the more quicker things respawn. So, must be some people running around around here. I them to respawn a little quicker. Get a little drink of water, a little warm in here, I'm sweating a little. Not as warm in my sister's house though. Holy crap, she had it. I think my wife said it was 81 degrees in her house, and I'm Scandinavian, so it's pretty warm for me. I'm used to. I'm the guy that goes out in 20 degree weather and shorts hoodie and sandals <laughs> and i'm comfy so that was a little warm for me okay so let's get over here get on over here i don't know what that is but like jeff foxworthy says his daddy saying it keeps kids out of his yard i can't spell it but it works kind of make myself sound like uh, no. I live in far eastern Iowa, uh, a couple hours west of Chicago. Uh, I am Midwesterner through and through. So, okay, now let's see if I can do this without pulling the hell's his name? Gernick the Cold. Let's see. What the? Nope. I think I got both of them too. Nope, just him. Okay, so that's. I don't think this is gonna work, I think, unless I get a couple crits in here and get lucky. I think he's gonna kill me again. Okay, I'm gonna die, but at least I'm gonna try Therese over here this time. Fuck. You know what? 
I don't suffer res sickness. I'm gonna res outside the cave. Let's try this again. That's 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 repair. I don't have 45 percent durability. Let's let's try this again. This is, it wasn't working very well. Let's see. I can these put them on. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I wasn't thinking there. Let's see. Repair. Oh, that hurt. I took a lot of coinage away. There we go. There's nothing I can train, right? Yeah, not coming soon. Cane shot and hunter's mark. Hunter's mark is very nice because it adds attack power, ranged attack power. So it allows us to smack him a little bit harder. So what I want to do is here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to turn that in. Then I'm going to run back over to the cave. Because what I might do, since we are at 35, just under 36 minutes, I might turn this quest in. Go ahead and call it an episode at that. And go ahead and pick up the next episode starting right there. And run into the cave and see if we can get Gurknar the cold and whoop him and get that rune that's in the back of it on the wall and that chest. Nope. I'm doing good. So I need my thumbnail. So what we're going to do is get over here. Get a little closer to him. Show our love. Aww. I was planning on sending my apprentice to my brother Sanya with my report. But I would I would Go ahead and grab our thumbnail for the episode. Right there. So what we're gonna do now is Going to come over here and have Iron Ferrari give you guys a nice little wave. If I can spell it. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and call this an episode. Thank you for tuning in, watching Grand's Fur run around with Iron Ferrari, our little dwarf hunter here in World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery. Until next time, have a wonderful evening.